So, we will continue our discussion on IC engine and today we will try to discuss about the classification and types of nozzle, ignition system which is important whether it is battery ignition system or if time permits we will discuss about magneto injection system, ignition system. So, before I go to discuss about the you know types of nozzles and it uh, why and its functioning, you know that we have discussed about the carburetor in the last uh, lecture that uh, simple flow type carburetor we have discussed it operational principle also we have discussed. Uh, what will be the mass flow rate of air and fuel if we try to you know uh, supply air fuel mixture in a, in a spark ignition engine. So, we have seen that uh, using a simple float type carburetor there are a few limitations and if you need to overcome all those limitation what would be the objective of, uh, of the design of a modern carburetor we have discussed and, and to and nowadays even uh, you know carburetion system is not uh, used rather it is almost obsolete uh, it is used a fuel injection system and whenever we are trying to use injection system rather supplying air and fuel rather fuel injection system then of course we have to supply fuel through a nozzle because uh, if we supply fuel in a liquid form then it, it, we won't get economy of the fuel rather uh, maybe combustion will be you know restricted over a very tiny area and it, uh, we won't get fuel economy so uh, we need to supply fuel through fuel nozzle and nozzle it no, whenever fuel is flowing through nozzle into the combustion chamber uh, we need to serve a few purposes i mean uh, whenever we are using nozzle today we'll discuss that uh, what is the what are the objectives I mean because why you are using nozzle and uh, we have seen that uh, even today uh, you know modern engines are equipped with you know injection system and because of we are having injection system we need to supply fuel through fuel injector and through fuel nozzle and uh, uh, we, even if we do not think about uh, simple float type carburetor rather, rather elementary carburetor even if we have a modern carburetor design but till uh, maybe we will be able to supply uh, fuel air fuel mixture depending upon the requirement of the engine but even uh, but 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 the supplying fuel through fuel nozzle or through injection system is always preferable one than using a carburetion system so in general nozzles are used in a CI engine injection system. So, uh, if I try to talk about uh, nozzle then preferably nozzles are used in a CI engine compression ignition engine injection system. So, basic objective CI engine injection system whenever we are thinking about the injection system rather we are going to discuss about the injection system in a compression ignition engine of course, we cannot nozzle is an integral part of that. So, uh, uh, we have discussed that uh, even without having nozzle only through have only through carburetor only through the carburetor we can supply air fuel mixture or charge. Uh, maybe uh, it is not always possible to supply stoichiometric air fuel ratio or chemically correct air fuel ratio using a simple float type carburetor. But, but uh, modification of a simple float type carburetor may provide uh, required amount of charge depending upon the engine requirement and we have seen that uh, during idling condition and cruising uh, uh, idling zone, cruising zone and power zone the requirement of air fuel fuel air mixture changes. So, uh, if a simple float type carburetor is designed rather adjusted for the satisfactory operation during idling condition it may supply excessively higher fuel air mixture during cruising zone and the power zone. So, unnecessary wastage of fuel will be there and to avoid that probably nowadays uh, you know uh, that simple float type carburetor is replaced by modern carburetor or it is better to have injection system uh, so that we can supply fuel through nozzle and we will discuss today that if we supply fuel through a nozzle not only that uh, we will be able to supply we will get fuel economy also that we will have a efficient combustion in the combustion chamber. So, what are the objective? So, in a CI engine injection system in general, but uh, uh, a nozzle is an integral part. So, through which we are supplying fuel into the, uh, into the combustion chamber. So, what are the basic objectives? Basic objectives, basic objectives of nozzles or injection system rather why 
because I, if we try to recall that in a CI engine uh, we supply air through in only through uh, we supply only air through intake manifold while fuel is spread through a fuel nozzle or fuel injector and complete system is known as fuel injection system. There will be a fuel pump and of course, there will be a nozzle. This complete system is known as fuel injection system uh, in uh, I mean uh, and nozzle is one of the parts of that system. So, what are the basic objective of the of having nozzle? We will have fuel pump, but apart from that fuel pump because of course, we have to you know pump fuel from fuel tank to the nozzle and when when fuel is flowing through the nozzle it, it the fuel will encounter a huge pressure drop I mean uh, and and um, and that and for that we have to have a pump. So, basic objective is to uh, number one we supply fuel air mixture into the com combustion chamber of SI engine and for that we have to we will we need a special device which is known as carburetor which allow the efficient mixing of fuel and air before it goes to the cylinder during intake stroke and also it tries to provide uh, you know chemically correct air fuel ratio uh, maybe it is not always possible using a simple float type carburetor, but if we modify the design of a simple float type carburetor it may be possible to supply chemically correct air fuel ratio uh, into the engine cylinder. But the basic objective of having nozzle is that uh, to atomize the fuel to atomize the fuel. to atomize the fuel. Uh, why atomization is required? Because as I said you that uh, uh, I mean whenever we are supplying fuel maybe we can directly supply fuel to the injection uh, combustion chamber without having nozzle. In that case we will be able to supply liquid fuel in the form of a little larger drop. So, when you are supplying liquid drop in the combustion chamber combustion will be localized over very uh, in a will be localized rather it, we will not be able to supply fuel into the uh, entire uh, space of the combustion chamber. So, maybe a combustion will be efficient. So, the function of the nozzle is to atomize the fuel into number of smaller and smaller droplets and second objective is to have a desired spray pattern desired spray pattern which is also an important objective uh, of having nozzle in an injection system. As I said you that without having nozzle we can supply fuel in the form of a liquid droplet and in that case liquid drop will be injected in a area over a tiny area in the combustion chamber that are combustionally localized. But uh, if you would like to supply, but our target would be to supply fuel into, into the uh, I mean the area where uh, compressed air is there because comp combustion area is not a very small area. So, we need to we our target should be to supply fuel over the entire area of the combustion chamber and to do that uh, we need to supply fuel in a desert spray pattern. So, what do we mean by desert spray pattern rather desert spray pattern is characterized by. So, this is characterized by this is characterized by uh, spray cone angle spray cone angle depth of spray depth of spray number c is average size distribution average size distribution so to ensure that fuel particle will go rather uh, it will readily it fuel particle rather the fuel which is being supplied to the combustion chamber will meet more readily with the air over the entire area of the combustion chamber. We should have a desert spray pattern and for that we need to have nozzle that is the second objective. First objective is that whenever we are having nozzle if we supply fuel in a liquid drop in a form of a liquid drop it will be a uh, combustion will be localized and we may not get efficient combustion. So, we need to break the fuel particle into number of smaller and smaller droplets. So, uh, this is the first objective, second objective that is what that we need to ensure that the fuel which is being supplied using nozzle into the combustion chamber will try to you know uh, you know uh, go 
into the uh, rather uh, almost oh, it will it will it will mix with the air which is there into the uh, which is there in the combustion chamber. So, to have desert distribution that, that is the fuel particle should not be injected fuel, fuel particle should not uh, you know be spread only over a small area into the combustion chamber rather it will be supplied over the uh, over the entire area within the combustion chamber so that it can readily mix with the compressed air to have a efficient mixing rather efficient combustion uh, we need to have desert spray pattern and that is characterized by spray cone angle depth of spray and average size distribution so what do we mean by suppose this is the nozzle this is the nozzle then fuel uh, is uh, spread because we should have high injection pressure so this is the fuel spray pattern right so this angle is known as theta that is spray cone angle and this depth that that will be l that is known as uh, so depth of spray l and spray cone angle theta that mean nozzle see while we are having nozzle in the system in the injection system it will be able to supply other fuel particle fuel will be able to penetrate up certain distance not only that whenever it is fuel is able fuel particle is able to sub, uh, able to penetrate a particular distance we also need to ensure that we will be able to penetrate a particular distance with a desert spray cone angle theta so that we can have efficient mixing uh, with the compressed air that is there over the entire area within the combustion chamber. So, these are the objectives of having a nozzle and uh, we have discussed that what do we mean by desert spray pattern and that is characterized by a spray cone angle theta depth of spray l and average size distribution that that is also important so uh, these are the objectives of having nozzle in an injection in a injection uh, in a ci engine injection system so now we'll discuss that while you are thinking about designing a nozzle so the design of a nozzle must be the nozzle design nozzle design must be nozzle design is an import is important so that we can fulfill the objectives whatever we have discussed that is desert spray pattern and the uh, um, atomization of the fuel droplet that means nozzle design is important from two different perspective first one is very important the liquid liquid fuel liquid fuel forced through nozzle forced through the nozzle will be broken off into finer droplets. So, we are supplying liquid fuel using a fuel pump which is also an important which is also one part of the one of the parts of the injection system and then fuel is coming to the nozzle. So, while fuel is flowing through the nozzle rather when pump is forcing the liquid fuel to go through the nozzle then we need to ensure while you are designing the nozzle that the fuel particle will be broken up into finer droplets uh, 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 as it enters into the combustion chamber. Why? Because as I said you that enter combustion chamber is filled up with compressed air. So, we have to ensure that fuel particle will go to the remote corner rather it will occupy rather it will mix with the fuel all the fuel particle being supplied will mix with the air which is there in the combustion chamber rather which is there over the entire area of the combustion chamber and for that we should have a desert spray pattern. But if we do not supply fuel into a finer number of smaller and smaller droplet then what will happen 
combustion on the efficient that that this issue will discuss in the context of discussion of combustion in a CCI engine. So, that we will discuss in one of my lectures in the next phase we will discuss. So, uh, this is very important. So, this is the first phase. So, this is the first phase in obtaining proper mixing of fuel and air in the combustion chamber. So, nozzle design important from two, from two different perspective. First one is essentially to fragments the fuel particle fuel uh, liquid fuel into a number of smaller and smaller finer droplets essentially to have a proper mixing with the compressed air uh, in the combustion chamber. So, this is the first objective that it will have a efficient mixing that it will readily mix with the air uh, rather compressed air within in the combustion chamber. Second objective is, so this is the first objective, uh, second objective we will discuss that the fuel must be the fuel must be you know uh, properly distributed or dispersed in the desired areas of the chamber. Fuel must be uh, properly distributed or dispersed dispersed in the desired areas of the chamber in the desired area a desired areas of the combustion chamber. So, while we are designing a nozzle which will be equipped with a fuel injection system, then we need to keep in we need to ensure that the first one is that whenever liquid fuel is forced through the nozzle using a fuel pump, the it the nozzle will be able to you know you know fragments the fuel liquid fuel into a number of finer droplets before it enters into the combustion chamber rather as it enters into the combustion chamber and this is the first phase of first phase in obtaining a proper mixing of the fuel with the compressed air in the combustion chamber. Second thing fine we have ensured that instead of supplying liquid fuel, we can supply fuel into a number of very small finer fuel droplet, so that we can have efficient mixing with the compressed air in the combustion chamber. Second is the fuel must be properly, so that is that we have ensured, nozzle also have to ensure the while we are designing nozzle, we also have to ensure that fuel must be distributed rather dispersed into the desired areas of the combustion chamber, maybe uh, and for that, that, that spray cone angle and depth of the spray is, spray is important. Because if we supply fuel only over a localized area in the combustion chamber, then it is not possible that uh, the compressed air that is there in the remote areas will not take part in the combustion. So, we may not have efficient combustion uh, and we may, we may not get fuel economy and for and to, to ensure that that you know proper distributed or you know properly distributed spray pattern. Uh, uh, is needed and for that we have to uh, have again nozzle. So, this is very important. So, this is the uh, second phase. So, this is the second phase uh, and and this is the second phase, the second phase and in this phase, in this phase, in this phase injection pressure a few important uh, a few you know uh, aspects are there in this phase uh, injection pressure which is very important injection pressure then uh, density of air into the cylinder density of air in the cylinder right. Uh, physical properties of the fuel as well as the nozzle design become important factor. Physical 
properties of fuel become important factor. So, first phase we have ensured that nozzle will be able to supply fuel liquid uh, fuel rather you know uh, of uh, very small and finer droplets instead of having liquid fuel we can supply fuel of very small and finer droplets. Second phase that what we need to ensure that we have to ensure that the we will get proper distribution of the fuel rather dispersed phase of the fuel in the combustion chamber. So, that uh, instead of having localized combustion we may have combustion over the entire area of the in the combustion chamber. So, that the compressed air that is there in the remote area can mix with the fuel that is being introduced or injected. And while you are talking about proper distributed properly distributed dispersed phase of the you know fuel then a few important aspects you need to take into account that is injection pressure, density of the air in the cylinder and physical properties of the fuel because these three I mean are important you know you know uh, factors uh, which we which will govern rather which will dictate the uh, whether we will get a properly distributed or dispersed phase of the liquid or not. So, and these are very important issues we need to take into account while we are designing the nozzle. For example, so uh, for example, because we have discussed that, okay, fine. Example, for example, what is the, I know, uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, role of injection pressure? What is the role of the injection pressure? So, uh, higher injection pressure results. So, what is the role of injection pressure? If we have higher injection pressure. higher injection pressure it will results in better dispersion as well as better penetration of the fuel into all ocean results in better dispersion as well as better penetration uh, of the fuel of the fuel uh, in all location in all location in the combustion chamber that is very important in all location in the chamber it is very important that the we need to ensure that the dispersed or you know distributed phase will be such that so that the air which is there in the remote corner also will be able to take part in the combustion. So uh, otherwise we should not get efficiency of uh, higher efficiency of the higher combustion efficiency. So this is very important. This is one. Not only that, higher injection pressure. So higher injection pressure ensure that the better penetration of the fuel in all location of the all locations in the combustion chamber higher injection pressure this is also very important higher injection pressure uh, also uh, produces finer droplet also produces finer droplets uh, which readily mix which tends to which tends to meet readily with the air more readily with the air. So, injection pressure the role of injection pressure is that higher injection pressure results in better dispersion or distributed phase in all location the chamber not only that it also produces finer droplets which tends to meet more readily with the air. So, I mean if we try to fragment fuel liquid fuel into number of you know smaller and smaller droplet we will have better combustion because it will try it will tend the, the you know the, the, the droplets will tend to meet readily with the uh, uh, will tend to meet more readily with the air right. Uh, so, it will have a better mixing. So, this is the important issue. Now, what about so we have discussed about injection pressure. 
So, then what about uh, density? The, as I said you that uh, uh, another aspect is density of the air in the cylinder. So, next is density very important that uh, uh, density of air in the combustion chamber. So, why? So, density of the air in the combustion chamber is very important. How? So, higher the density of the air, higher the density of the compressed, compressed air rather better rather uh, I, I write better the density better the density of the compressed air uh, in the chamber in the chamber right the greater the greater the resistance greater resistance offered greater resistance offered to the fuel droplets uh, during its travel in the chamber. If we have a higher density, better density, that means whenever liquid droplets is coming from the nozzle, it encounters relatively higher resistance during its travel. As a result of which, what will happen? And as a result of which, uh, better dispersion of the fuel. As a result of which, we will have better dispersion. So, as a result, as a result, we will get better dispersion of fuel. As if liquid droplet is coming while it is coming from nozzle and if, if it encounters relatively higher resistance being offered by the compressed air, then it will have a better dispersion rather it will the spray uh, will get a desired spray pattern and that is very important. So, this is the uh, you know role of the density of the air in the combustion chamber and you know uh, last is physical properties of the fuel physical properties of fuel. So, this is the last one. So, this is uh, density of the air that we have seen that higher the density the greater will be the dispersion uh, of the fuel. How physical properties? Physical properties such as viscosity, viscosity, surface tension, viscosity, surface tension these are very important because these properties are uh, very important also also important for the dispersion of the fuel and surface tension also plays an important role for the formation of smaller and smaller droplet droplet breaking all those things so uh, these are very important issues while we are uh, uh, discussing while you are thinking of uh, nozzle design. So, nozzle design there are uh, we have discussed that there are two objectives to have atomization of the fuel and you know uh, desert spray pattern. We have discussed about the first phase and the second phase uh, while you are having fuel injection rather while fuel is uh, you know um, flowing through the nozzle there are first phase and se second phase what are the issues during first phase and second phase and what are the objectives of having other what objectives we need to uh, you know uh, fulfill uh, during first phase and second phase that is what we have discussed. So, now we will come to the discussion. So, from this discussion we have seen that the nozzle must spray fuel into chamber in such a manner. So, from the discussion we have seen that that nozzle must spray the fuel nozzle must spray fuel into the combustion chamber in such a manner in such a manner 
that the you know uh, uh, that the f that that the fuel reaching the surrounding walls surrounding walls of the combustion chamber uh, the nozzle must spray fuel into combustion in such a manner that the fuel rather the nozzle must spray fuel in the combustion chamber in such a manner as to minimize as to minimize the you know as to minimize the quantity of fuel as to minimize uh, rather I can write that uh, as such a manner that the fuel reaching at the surrounding wall of the combustion chamber will be minimized. So, this is an important issue any fuel. So, this is very important Wha what will happen if we if a uh, fuel strike the fuel drop the fuel which is being coming or rather the you know injected fuel you know uh, reaching to the surrounding wall then what will be the problem. So, nozzle will be nozzle will ensure that we will have a desert depth of the spray not only that it will have a you know desert spray pattern that is characterized by the depth of the spray on the spray cone angle. So, that first phase it will ensure we will have a sufficient number of smaller and smaller droplets. So, that it can readily mix with air in almost in all the areas in the combustion chamber. Second phase not only it will you know fragments the fuel into more smaller and smaller number of droplets rather it will be able to provide sufficient you know uh, you know desert spray pattern which is characterized by the spray cone angle and this depth of the spray. While we are ensuring that okay fine we will have a desert spray pattern at the same time also we also need to ensure that the nozzle must spray fuel in the combustion chamber in such a way that the the, the it, it will minimize the you know fuel particle it, it, it will minimize you know, the quantity of fuel reaching to the surrounding walls. I cannot completely stop it rather I cannot completely uh, you know make it 0. I mean some fuel you know some amount of fuel rather some fuel droplets will try to strike the surrounding walls in the combustion chamber rather we need to uh, ensure that the quantities of fuel uh, striking the surrounding walls of a combustion chamber will be minimized, but I cannot make it 0. What will happen Very importantly any fuels striking striking the walls of a cylinder striking the walls of the chamber tends to decompose tend to decompose uh, producing carbon deposit producing carbon deposit unpleasant order and a smoky exhaust and a smoky exhaust. So, that means we need to ensure that a minimum quantity a minimum quantity rather the quantity of fuel droplets striking the walls surrounding walls of the combustion chamber should be minimized otherwise we will have a if, if, if a large you know number of dropl fuel droplets strike you know uh, uh, the walls of a combustion chamber we will have a carbon deposit not only that we will have unpleasant order and uh, we will get a smoky exhaust. So, to avoid that uh, uh, I mean we have to design nozzle in a proper way. So, now we will come to the discussion of types of nozzles. So, we have seen that what are the objective of nozzles, why we should have nozzle ok fine that we have to spray a nozzle we have to break the fuel liquid fuel into smaller and smaller number of droplet. First of all we have to make the fuel into form of a drop and then the droplet should be you know the liquid fuel will be broken up into a number of smaller droplets and also we need to ensure that the combustion would not be localized and to do that we have to have a desert spray pattern and uh, uh, while we are having desert spray pattern 
Also, you have to keep in mind that that a large portion of the fuel droplet should not strike the walls of the surrounding uh, should not uh, strike the walls of the combustion chamber. So, now what are the types of nozzle? Types of nozzle very important uh, single single nozzle multiple nozzle and pintle type pintle type. So, what is single nozzle single orifice nozzle rather single orifice nozzle. So, single orifice nozzle is like this that uh, it is single orifice nozzle So, in a single orifice nozzle, we have only one the single drilled passageway. So, this is only one drilled, you know, we will have only one drilled fuel passageway. Way. This is called, you know, uh, only one, and what is? So, at the end of the nozzle, so, I am writing that uh, various types of nozzles, various types of nozzle are used in CI engine, right. But the most common types are, but various types of nozzles are used in CI engine, most common you know most common types are most common types are are this that is single nozzle single orifice nozzle multiple orifice nozzle and pintle type single orifice nozzle consist the single orifice nozzle which consist you know of a single single hole in the end at the end of this sing, consist of a single hole at the end of the nozzle at the end of the nozzle through which fuel passes into the combustion chamber through which through which fuel through which fuel passes into the combustion chamber and if we so this is single orifice nozzle we only we have only one drilled fuel passageway and which is located at the end of the fuel through which fuel passes into the combustion chamber number 2 is multiple orifice nozzle multiple orifice nozzle so instead of having a single drilled passageway we have a we will we'll, we'll have multiple passage uh, drilled passageway so uh, this is the nozzle So, this is multiple orifice nozzle, right. So, the multiple orifice nozzle contains several such several drilled fuel passes ways several drills fill passes ways instead of having single drill passageway we are having multiple uh, drill passageway through which through which fuel 
passes into the chamber. So, this is very important multiple orifice nozzle and last one is spindle type, last one is spindle type right. So, we have this is small splanger and this is fuel passageway. So, multi, you know the pintle nozzle, so pintle type nozzle consists of a small splanger in the fuel passageway in the fuel passes away and the movement of the plunger control the flow of fuel into the chamber. The movement of the plunger controls the flow of fuel into the chamber. So, we have in a pintle type is uh, we have a small plunger and and this this is known as pintle this this uh, this is known as pintle. So, the movement of the pintle which controls the flow of fuel into the chamber and and the and we will have a small plunger uh, and the movement is uh, I mean the, it is having uh, to and fro movement. I mean we can control the movement essentially to maintain the gap uh, through which fuel will be uh, injected or fuel will be uh, flowing into the combustion chamber. So, by controlling the movement of the plunger we can control the flow of fuel into the combustion chamber. Now, the single and multiple orifice nozzles are used with. So, we have discussed about single uh, orifice nozzle, multiple orifice nozzle and the pintle type. The single and multiple orifice nozzles are used with non turbulent type combustion chamber. The single and multiple, multiple orifice nozzle, these are used in non turbulent type combustion chamber right. Uh, the orifices are very small, the orifice the orifices of the orifices of these nozzles are very small and are subjected to and are subjected to clogging by carbon particle clogging by carbon particle which may either interfere with the function of the nozzle stream or may even completely stop well carbon particle which may either interfere with the functioning of the nozzle or completely or may even completely stop completely stop the uh, fuel flow through the fuel flow 
through same orifice through same orifice. So, if we have a singular multiple field orifice type which are normally used in non turbulent type combustion chamber, the orifices are very small and sometimes they are subjected to you know subjected to clogging by carbon particle because whenever you are having carbon com you know uh, combustion chamber that is very close to combustion chamber. So, sometimes they are subjected to clogging of the carbon particle. So, when they are you know clogged with the carbon particle, uh, the clogging of the carbon particle either may uh, you know interfere, interfere with the functioning of the nozzle or sometimes it may completely stop the supply of fuel flow through the same orifice. So, uh, and that is why because of this, because of this, because of this uh, a proper you know this uh, because of this uh, these types of nozzles these nozzles usually required these nozzles usually require you know better maintenance and higher operating better maintenance tenants and higher operating expenses. So, because of this, these nozzles usually require better maintenance and high higher operating expenses. So, uh, these are important aspects. On the other hand, if we if we uh, discuss about pintle type, this pintle type nozzles are generally employed with turbulent type combustion chamber with turbulent type combustion chamber which utilizes which utilizes lower injection pressure lower injection pressure and due to the action of that plunger due to the action of the plunger uh, this type of nozzle are less susceptible to clogging to clogging thereby and maintenance is thereby reduced. So, this type of nozzle very important that uh, small pintle which have uh, the, since the movement of the plunger is there by changing the movement of the ply by, by controlling the movement of the plunger you can control the fuel flow. So, whenever you know that plunger movement is there the movement of the pindle itself pindle itself uh, even though there will be a deposition of carbon clogging uh, the deposition of carbon particle or uh, clogging by carbon particle the movement of the plunger itself will allow to uh, remove rather will uh, you know clear the carbon deposition and that is why. Uh, these are not these are less susceptible to clogging and thereby maintenance is reduced. So, these are the very important uh, types of nozzle normally used in CI engine single orifice type, multiple orifice type and pintle type. Single and multiple orifice type we have discussed either we have single drill passageways or multiple drill passageways, but uh, these nozzles are normally used with you know uh, non turbulent type combustion chamber where injection pressure is uh, will, will be high. Uh, rather which uh, uh, non turbulent type combustion chamber utilizes higher injection pressure and uh, you know uh, the orifices of these nozzles are very small and subjected to clogging of carbon particle that is what we have discussed and and this carbon clogging of the carbon clogging by carbon particle sometimes may interfere with the functioning of the nozzle or sometimes it may completely stop the fuel flow and because of this we need a better maintenance and operating cost will be higher. On the other hand 
the nozzle which fit nozzle fitted with the plunger type it is normally employed in a uh, turbulent type combustion chamber which utilizes lower pressure not only that even though there is a probability of having clogging of carbon clogging by carbon particle the moment of the plunger itself will try to clear the carbon deposition as a result of which we do, uh, maintenance is reduced they are reduced so with this i stop here today and we will continue our discussion in the next class and we will discuss about the uh, ignition system uh, battery ignition system and if time permits we will discuss about magneto injection system and also we will try to work out a few example uh, that is what we have discussed uh, in the last uh, lectures. Thank you very much.